this is the Nix controller device. It's an ESP32 Wi-Fi chip. So in this one, we've got in, in and out LEDs, uh, in and out push buttons. We've got, we've got OLED. We've also got a um, infrared uh, device for using an infrared controller. We've got the normal power in and power on off switch and power LED. Uh, USB connection, of course, um, for programming and other things. And we have a temperature probe and we've got a stepper motor. So this can operate in Bluetooth mode. Yes, it supports Bluetooth. It can operate in Wi-Fi mode as access point or as a station mode connecting to an existing network. And it can also operate over USB as a local serial device. So you've got everything of the best worlds here. So what I'll do now is, is I want to connect this up and show it to you working. So we have a ESP32 Wi-Fi controller. It supports local serial over USB. It supports Bluetooth mode, uh, classic Bluetooth mode. It also supports uh, Wi-Fi modes as an access point, which I've got it running now, and a station station mode, connect, which would connect to an existing network. I have a, a NEMA 17200 step per revolution uh, stepper motor. I've got a temperature probe. I've got in out push buttons, in out LEDs. I've got a infrared remote controller. Um, so let's connect to this device. Right, so this is fast speed. Uh, this is slow speed. Yeah, a slight pause every now and again as it updates the display and updates the temperature probe. Uh, full step mode. Um, let's just set it back to fast. Um, 100 steps is actually half a revolution, which it is. So let's go half step mode, which should be a quarter of a revolution, which it is. And let's go a quarter of a step, which is an eighth of a revolution and uh, go 100 steps and yes it is so stepping mode is actually under the control of firmware and with software commands and it's actually working fine so let's set it back to full mode let's get the temperature let me hold down the probe and uh, warm it up a wee bit and you can see that the temperature has gone up so we've got the OLED working uh, we've got the probe working, we've got the motor working with, in different uh, speeds, m much improved over the previous firmware. Um, so let's try some in and out push buttons. So you can see it pulsing and the motor's turning the other way. And it's turning as well. Uh, let's get the position. It's currently 14. Motor's still working fine. Um, so you can see everything's going here um, and going quite happily. So that's the ESP32 uh, Wi-Fi controller.